all right hey guys welcome back to the channel and today uh, we are doing a quick design in Katia v5 and uh, if you can see uh, it's a knob and uh, what we can do is we'll model this knob from scratch and uh, we'll utilize the shape design inside Katia to model this and after that uh, we will utilize the draft analysis to make sure that uh, it could be manufacturable right now why we do draft analysis is because when we have a part to be manufactured maybe from injection molding or some kind of molding so it needs to be uh, checked with draft analysis that it, it should be able to come out of the mold all right so we'll do the draft analysis on this one and we'll see the results all right so let's quickly start with the tutorial and uh, I'll close this for now. Let's start with a make a shape and go to generative shape design. You can name it as knob. All right. Now we'll start with some basic sketches, and to do that, I will select the text plane, go for a sketch, and uh, let's start with a three point arc. And let's say start from here draw an arc like that go for radius 64 we need few more constraints so that it's fully constrained so I will give one dimension constraint from here 64 and another one from here okay I took the wrong edge so I'll select this point and this one 64 all right now after this what we can do is we can exit the sketch and proceed on with the another uh, sketch so for that we'll select yz plane go for sketching and uh, this time we'll do another three point arc so i can go for like this and after that i will take axis and from the center point of the arc i will draw one axis like this and another axis like this as well as one more axis which is like this okay I'll give some constraint so for that I will select this point of the arc and this one and go for a 30 mm also this point and this horizontal axis and go for 50 mm okay and then what we can do is select these two axes and give them a 10 degree angle now select this end point of arc and this axis go for coincidence and uh, I will give uh, I will remove the horizontal constraint here and select these two axes now and give them a 70 degree angle okay once I do that I'll select this endpoint and this axis and make them coincidence and the very last part is radius of the arc radius could be 20 and that makes our sketch fully defined so I can exit from here so here we have the second sketch and let's go for the third sketch which will be on the yz plane again so go for a sketch this time I'll take a line I'll draw a line like this make sure it is vertical and its dimension could be let's say 70 and one more dimension could be from this point to this axis 60 okay from here I can exit and then I can create surface from these uh, three sketches all right now to create the surface I can select a sketch one go for extrude and uh, for the dimension I can specify 70 mm preview okay I can do the same thing for second sketch 
70 mm okay you can see and for the 30 sketch I will select it and this time I will go for uh, revolve and uh, I'll make the angle 1 as 0 and angle 2 as 90 degree for the axis I can go for Z axis and that's okay here we have our three different surface basic surface from this we can create our shape of the knob and to do that what we can do is we can utilize the trim operation so I can go over here in the operation and utilize the trim and uh, I will say extrusion 1 and the revolution now I will make sure that I'm not going for the unwanted side so I can switch the other side over here and other side over here as well and press ok this is what we wanted alright now for the next part we can go for the split so let's go for a split not the trim but split command and uh, we will utilize the second extrusion and the trim that we just created and uh, instead of going this way I will go for other side and press OK and we got rid of the excess from the back alright now here we will utilize the extrapolate command and uh, to use it I can go to insert operation extrapolate and uh, I will select extrapolated as split one and for the boundary I can select this one and for the limit I will go up to element and select trim one so there you have uh, the extrapolated surface going all the way alright we can do it one more time for for a surface from this edge to that insert operation extrapolate for the boundary I can select this one for the extrapolate I can select this and for the type I can go up to element and select this one and preview okay so since we have uh, the surface all joined I can now utilize the trim command to get rid of the excess surface I'll go for trim I will go for extrapolate 2 and the trim and now it will be highlighted I don't want it to be this one so I'll go for other side and other side okay this is what we have all right I think we did the opposite so let's edit the trim too and uh, let's go for the other side all right no this is fine and this is fine okay make sure you are choosing the right side for the trim all right now this is what I wanted and yeah that's perfect for now from here I can utilize the trim command or maybe fillet command so we have already created the first quadrant of the knob so we can utilize the uh, fillet command so I'll go to insert go to operation we can go for variable fillet and select this one I'll edit the values from this point as 20 and for this point as 10 okay then press ok to confirm there we have our variable fillet I'll go one more fillet so operation and this time I'll select edge fillet and simply select this edge and for the radius I will say 5 mm preview okay now we have the knob quadrant of the knob ready so simply I can utilize the symmetry command to do that all right so I can go from here 
to symmetry and select the edge fillet two and the reference I can give let's say this axis I think this plane we can give as the reference and press OK now we have half of the knob so before doing another symmetry I will utilize the join command to join symmetry 1 and edge fillet 2 press OK now it's a single surface now we can go for another symmetry and this time I will select join 1 and for the reference I can select YZ plane press OK we have the complete model of the knob all right we can go for another join operation between symmetry 2 and join 1 and press ok so after that everything will be joined all right now we can hide all these sketches so i can hide these two sketches maybe and then we can go for draft analysis and to view it you have to switch it to material shading with material and go to insert analysis and go for feature draft analysis alright you have to select this face and you will be presented with a nice colorful knob now there are a few things in the draft analysis so we have different types of mode switches on and all those different mode now we will utilize this full analysis mode and for the display i will show the color scale so this is basically the color scale and for the direction i will use the compass as well as inverse draft you can also switch off the inverse draft if you want to now these are the values of the highlighted area and uh, we, let's say we want to give a nice four degree draft to this wall the blue highlighted wall so to do that uh, i can close this and then select my sketch 3 and instead of making it vertical i can delete the constraint and let's say i can select this one and this one since we are going for four degree so i will type 86 degree and that's it i can exit and now my draft is ready so we have applied a four degree draft and it's successful all right it turns green that means we are good to go with the draft analysis and uh, one thing that i want to mention over here is if I go for a uh, wireframe and uh, switch my view from isometric to front view you can see this uh, the draft which we created with this line it leaves uh, some footprint like this this it should not be there right it's a non horizontal footprint so we have to get rid of that and to do that what we can do is we can go for a split again so i will go for a split command and uh, we will go for uh, <coughs> join to and cutting elements i will select this time xy plane and okay alright once you do that your extra line which was non horizontal is gone and now this is the correct uh, design of the knob alright so make sure you are doing uh, a split after the draft analysis because uh, if you do the draft analysis uh, then some of the lines may become non horizontal and they will be still there even if your part is ready so make sure you are splitting those uh, unwanted lines all right now from here i can go for switch to 
part design and we can let's go to insert and go for a thick surface I'll select this one all right and then I can let's say apply a how much how much should we give 4 mm we can go for either inside or outside let's go for inside and press ok and then we can hide the join too and you have the knob ready perfect and ready for the manufacturing process or you can also apply material so let's say I can go for other apply rubber material apply ok switch it to shading with materials in case if it becomes too much like that you can go for diffuse and change the color to white increase the roughness maybe change it to something light color apply and apply ok you won't see anything because I have turned off the lighting so I'll switch it on and there you go your knob is ready right so that's how you can utilize the draft analysis inside Katia. Very important tool to check whether your parts will be manufacturable or not. And I hope you guys uh, understand the draft analysis tool. If you have any doubts with this one, feel free to comment down below and subscribe if you're watching this. See you in the next tutorial. Peace out.